The topic we will cover in today's class is Public Facilities Human Development Report Sustainability of Development So let's start with Public Facilities Public facilities play a very important role in the development of a country as these include education facility, health facility, transportation facility, banking and insurance facility which are the basics of any kind of development. Because of public facilities, survival of poor is possible. There are many services which become affordable only if they are part of public facility and provided by the government to the poor people of the nation. Now let's discuss about a few important public facilities. First one is education. Education is the most important public facility which is very important for the people of the nation. Reasons are, education confers higher earning capacity on people. It gives better social standing and pride. It enables one to make better choices in life. It provides knowledge to understand the changes taking place in society. It also stimulates innovations. It facilitates adaption of new technologies. Second is healthcare. The government provides us with hospitals and dispensaries. They also maintain facilities like doctors and diagnostic machines. Government also provide basic health facilities. Government provides hospitals, vaccine programs to maintain the basic quality of life. So the basic health facilities are important because it directly increases the supply of healthy labor force. Poor health and undernourishment adversely affect the quality of manpower. A sick labor without access to medical facilities is compelled to abstain from work and there is a loss of productivity. So that is important. Third one is public distribution system. Public distribution system is a government sponsored chain of shops entrusted with the work of distributing basic food and non-food commodities to the needy sections of the society at very cheap prices like wheat, rice, kerosene, sugar, etc. are a few major commodities distributed by the public distribution system. Fourth is banking facilities. Banking facilities are very important because a person uses banking facility to make their money safe and to get loans from bank. After having discussed public facility, now let's discuss Human Development Report. Human Development Report is a composite index published by Union Nations Development Program that compares countries based on the educational levels of the people, their health status and per capita income. Countries are compared based on HDI, that is Human Development Index. It is calculated based on per capita income, life expectancy, BMI, etc. Sri Lanka with HDI of 76 is ahead of India with HDI because of its more literacy rate and income. Now let's discuss a few terms of Human Development Index. First is BMI, which is Body Mass Index. BMI is a way to find out if adults are undernourished. Dividing the weight of a person in kg by the square of height in meters, if this figure is less than 18.5, then the person would be considered undernourished. If this BMI is more than 25, then a person is overweight. Second is life expectancy. It means average expected length of life of a person at the time of birth. In India, life expectancy is 69.42 years according to 2018 survey. So learners, now we'll discuss sustainability of development. Sustainable development is the development which will allow all future generations to have a potential average quality of life. That is at least as high which is being enjoyed by the current generation. Consequences of environment degradation do not respect national or state boundaries. This issue is no longer region 
or nation specific. Our future is linked together. Overuse of resources will exhaust them. If development is not sustainable, it will give rise to environment degradation and become a global problem. So learners, in this video, we learned about public facility, human development report and sustainability of development. I'll see you in the next chapter. Till then, goodbye and take care.